India made a massive bet on its tech future. Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav confirmed that four major semiconductor plants will start commercial production in 2026. These include global and Indian giants like Tata and Micron. But this move has triggered a fierce debate. Critics ask, why give over 76,000 crore rupees in subsidies to billion dollar corporations? Why not spend that money on schools or hospitals instead? But supporters say, this isn't about chips. It's about buying sovereignty. Today, if Taiwan or China stop chip exports, India's cars, ATMs, mobiles, even missiles, stop. The subsidy is the price of freedom from foreign dependence. And there's the multiplier effect. For every one job in a chip fab, five to eight high-skilled jobs are created outside it. This isn't a subsidy for billionaires. It's an investment in India's high-income middle class for the next decade. So is this wasteful spending or strategic nation-building?